if you seek nothing but the will of God, he will always put you in the right place at the right time. There are four principles we need to maintain. First, read the word of God. Second, consume the word of God until it consumes you. Third, believe the word of God. Fourth, act on the word. The reason the world is not seeing Jesus is that Christian people are not filled with Jesus. They are satisfied with attending meetings weekly, reading the Bible occasionally, and praying sometimes. It is an awful thing for me to see people who profess to be Christians lifeless, powerless, and in a place where their lives are so parallel to unbelievers' lives that it is difficult to tell which place they are in, whether in the flesh or in the spirit. There is nothing impossible with God. All the impossibility is with us when we measure God by the limitations of our unbelief. A man is in a great place when he has no one to turn to but God. Some people read their Bibles in Hebrew, some in Greek, I like to read mine in the Holy Ghost. There is something about believing God that will cause him to pass over a million people to get to you. God wants us so badly that he has made the condition as simple as he possibly could, only believe. You must every day make higher ground. You must deny yourself to make progress with God. You must refuse everything that is not pure and holy. God wants you pure in heart. He wants you to have an intense desire after holiness. Two things will get you to leap out of yourselves into the promises of God today. One is purity, and the other is faith, which is kindled more and more by purity. The devil knows if he can capture your thought life he has won a mighty victory over you. I am not moved by what I see. I am moved only by what I believe. God does not call those who are equipped, he equips those whom he has called. I don't often spend more than half an hour in prayer at one time, but I never go more than half an hour without praying. When faith lays hold, impossibilities must yield. To hunger and thirst after righteousness is when nothing in the world can fascinate us so much as being near God. We must be careful not to choose, but to let God's Holy Spirit manage our lives, not to smooth down and explain away but to stir up the gift and allow God's Spirit to disturb us and disturb us and disturb us until we yield and yield and yield and the possibility in God's mind for us becomes an established fact in our lives, with the rivers in evidence meeting the need of a dying world. God never intended his people to be ordinary or commonplace. His intentions were that they should be on fire for him, conscious of his divine power, realizing the glory of the cross that foreshadows the crown. I can't understand God by feelings. I can't understand the Lord Jesus Christ by feelings. I can only understand God the Father and Jesus Christ by what the Word says about them. God is everything the Word says He is. We need to get acquainted with Him through the Word. Believe that when you come into the presence of God you can have all you came for. You can take it away, and you can use it, for all the power of God is at your disposal in response to your faith. When we come to the place of impossibilities, it is the grandest place for us to see the possibilities of God. The power of God will take you out of your own plans and put you into the plan of God. God can so fill a man with his spirit that he can laugh and believe in the face of a thousand difficulties. When things are not going right, there are satanic forces in. Operation. What is my solution? To rebuke the condition of sin, death, disease, or whatever it is. I can pray in the Holy Ghost, and that prayer is effectual to bring down every stronghold of the enemy.